Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gerson and on this video I'm going to show you how to build this simple, easy, but most importantly cheap buy rack. If you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. Now I just recently got my garage door fixed and before that I used to have my bicycles on the ground taking no space. But now that my garage door is working I need the space for my truck and to keep wood working. So I, need a, so I need a solution to store my bicycles. You can definitely buy some bicycle racks at Amazon, but the budget I set for myself was $0. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the back support of the bike rack to length. This is going to depend on how many bikes you are looking to store. In my case, I'm going to hang two bicycles. Next, while laying the tires on the back supports, I'm going to mark the rough location where I'm going to screw the side supports. This is going to make sense later on the video. Now it's time to cut the side supports to length. For me, this was five and a half inches. And this is roughly how the rack is going to look. The next step is going to drill the holes for the actual supports for the bicycles. The size of the holes are going to depend on what type of support you're going to use. In my case, I'm going to use PVC. I figure this will be strong enough and that's what I had in laying around. For extra strength, I'm going to use Type 2 wood glue. In case you are wondering, the wood that I'm using is construction grade lumber that I bought in Home Depot a few months back. I'm going to use 18 gauge brand nails in order to keep the wood from moving while pre-drilling and driving in the screws. Now the most important part of securing the wood to the back support is to pre-drill right in the middle, as straight as possible and also countersink so the screws are not getting in the way of the wall. I don't know if this is completely necessary but I'm going to use 3 inch screws for added strength. The smallest ones would probably work. I took my time doing this because I didn't want the wood to split. And now, with the stud locations already marked, secure the back rack to the wall. It's important that you at least hit two studs. Double checking, everything is going level. For the final step, I'm going to cut the PVC to length. And just a quick test making sure everything is going to work. Just to make it look a little bit better, I decided to paint the whole rack and to hang the PVC supports using used guitar strings. I wanted the bikes off the ground so I could have a place to store my son's electric car. And this is how it turned out. Not too bad for a $0 budget. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.